Welcome to At The Vanguard. We're TB Vanguard, and our motto is for fans, by fans. We showcase fans on the front line of the Team Breezy movement. This podcast is an open forum to discuss current topics as they relate to Chris Brown and his fan base. Hey, welcome to At The Vanguard. Today is May 6th, 2024. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm Nikki. I'm Paula. I'm J. Pride. I am T. Hi, I'm Miss Kat. Hi, I'm Ann. And I'm Tasha. Great. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Glad to have some new guests. It's wonderful. Um, we've got a lot going on this week, but sometimes we don't. But this is wonderful. It's Feast of Famous with, with Chris Brown. Um, <laughs> some NAMI updates. And what, what, did we have any NAMI updates? Uh, no NAMI updates. Just maybe they're in the works of trying to drop uh, Oat again. Uh, okay. But that's it. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, of course, the big news is our fave turns 35. Yay! Yeah. So happy, it was happy to stick with the breezy yesterday. Mm-hmm. They didn't, did y'all see the party videos? Nothing nothing fancy. It was just, uh, so he had a party and he was just having a good time. Yeah, I just I didn't, saw the yeah. old one video. Saw the big old head sign of Chris. <laughs> it was hilarious. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was one of the popular uh, ones that they made a meme out of him, where he's just like got his neck sticking in, or I don't know how to explain it, but it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, we've got the category of featuring Chris Brown. We've got a couple of new ones. Um, first one was "Wake Up," fe- Skylar Black featuring Chris Brown. I almost said featuring Skylar Black. Let it turn song. Wake up. <laughs> okay, so um, we going to talk about the impressions of the song. I know, Jay, Jay Pride, what did you think about it? I know you weren't. No. Yeah, so um, it was both songs are like super, super short to me. So before I could get into them, I'm like, the song's over, the song's over. I mean, both of them are cool, both of them are nice. Me personally, I was I was just like I was hoping for a little more, but I mean they're they're cool. Like I'm I'm a, always still like on my streaming parties. I'm a, uh, still play them a lot. Right. But yeah, I was just I wish it was like just a little bit longer. That's all. Right. Um, I really enjoyed the song. It's like a really vibey song for me. Um, so it was just a different take, but I like the song. Um, the other one, what's the name of it? Lonely, I'm lonely. I'm lonely. Yeah. It was yeah. just too short. And of course, I love Chris's part, but I just wish he had a longer part in it. I don't hate the song, but it's just a little bit too short. By the time we get into Chris's verse, it's already over. Wow, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, my name is D-Mag. How's everybody doing? Great, welcome. Great. Thank you, thank you. Hey. We've been getting opinions about the uh, new features that Chris has. What did you think about Wake Up and Unlonely? My opinions? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> of course, I, I thought it was awesome. I mean, every feature he does, in my opinion, is it makes the song 100% awesome, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But um, I liked it. I really do. I like both of them very much. Okay. And... Um, I really like his future on Wake Up. Um, I just think the song is really catchy. And, uh, well, I'm gonna pass on the Unlonely song if I haven't heard it yet. I only heard the oh. snippet. So. Yeah. Um, Tasha? Hey, so, um, Wake Up, um, I like that song. Like they said, like, it's a nice vibey song. I think it'll be a nice summer song, too. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a playful upbeat um it's real different like i don't even know how to like describe it like the way they're singing it but it's catchy it'll be a nice summer song and then unlonely i like like the harmony in it their voices together i'm trying to think if i've heard them sing together before i'm not sure chris and jay valentine probably years ago 
But yeah, I think their voices work very well together. Very nice harmonies in that song. That's been a long time since we heard from Jay Valentine. He's got a beautiful voice. Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. And he just <laughs> dropped it because Chris mentioned it on the podcast. I know, so <laughs> no telling how long he was sitting on it. Yeah, it's been in the closet for a minute. So mm-hmm. yeah. But now like wake up. I, I really like it. Like you said, vibe is it's I could listen to it just on and on because it's very laid back. It makes me think about mm-hmm. it's all, like easy, but just a little bit faster. Um, yeah, I love that with Chris because this is the thing about Chris. He always looks out for new artists, and mm-hmm. um, she he didn't want her to spend any money on a video, so he let her do the video at his house in one of his cars, and you know that was wonderful. I love that about him. He's mm-hmm. you know, my, nobody can say he's a beautiful person. I don't care what they say because um, that's a wonderful thing to do. Because I, I mean, videos cost a fortune, and record companies don't give artists they don't really don't give them much money anymore. So, right. Yeah, that, that was a nice thing to do yeah. to allow her to um, shoot the video there. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was very nice of him. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, unlonely. I do like. I like the arm harmonies, and I agree. It is really, really short. But mm-hmm. I think he mm-hmm. kind of really. I think. I think maybe he's like out of being an artist any, anymore. It's been so long. Mm-hmm. But and so he didn't really uh, like add a lot more to. It. But I, mean, he's, I love his voice and. I really like their voices together, but yeah, it could have been a little bit longer. But I do like it. I hope yeah. everybody streams it. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. I liked it a lot as well. Now, the other thing, of course, is um, the R&B Money podcast. Uh, uh, that interview was, I think, one of the best interviews he's done in years outside of uh, uh, big boy interviews. It's really good. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Love that. Can I say one other thing about the uh, Wake Up song? Yes. Um, I don't even know if a lot of people were aware that Skylar, she had less than 9,000 followers and she is over a million and two followers. Just from that that one song in a couple of days. And I just think that's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy, but just the impact of him being on the song. Yeah. Yeah, that is what I call crazy. the Chris Brown effect. Yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> from eight thousand yes, monthly Brown listeners effect. to one point two million in a couple of days, yes. I'm like, that is crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's awesome. That I've never heard of her before. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. I wonder. If I, I just, just yeah, I just remember them knowing she was it late last coming. year. Um, there's a story on her page or somebody's page that she went to his concert and he had been listening to her music. And so he actually had somebody go and get her from the audience because I think she DM'd him and to meet him. Mm -hmm. So that's how that started. But he had been listening to her music and actually posted one of her rapping on one of his pages like a year or two ago. Um, So he knew who she was and she said she DM'd him. She was at the show and he you know, sent somebody to go and get him to bring him back to meet him. I so love that. I love that story. That is dope. Love that. Yeah, I love that. So I just think those are the kind of things that the media, of course, they won't report on, and oh, you know never. the nice the things he does all the time. But I, I just think that was you know incredible. And he, and he does a lot of things for black women, and they, mm. yeah. 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 who they date or whatever but he actually does things for them mm-hmm. helps them get a bag I mean that's not the first exactly. one exactly exactly he definitely the gives one. them the opportunity that's for sure right yeah. mm-hmm. that's for sure definitely and if I may if I can segue that into the um R&B Money podcast uh-huh. yeah. my favorite part of that which is something that I say about Chris a lot is just how accessible he is for people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like he is like by far the most accessible celebrity like I have ever witnessed in my lifetime right. anyway. And he pretty much said that as well. And just the way he cares about his fans and stuff, mm-hmm. which is why I'm pretty sure a lot of us do this second job for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know he really cares and he appreciates it and yes, he does. You don't have a problem jumping in a DM and talking to nobody or whatever. <laughs> like it's yeah. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was a great part. Now, one of my favorite parts was when he asked for his favorite R&B singers. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> What do you think about that part, D-Mag? The songs, he, the, the people he chose. I wasn't shocked. I was not in shock at all. I wasn't shocked by it. I, it just seems right up his alley. I mm-hmm. mean, mm-hmm. those people are great. He's a great as well. Of course, greatness follows greatness. Yes. I mean, that's that's, right. that's that's all to it. Like, I wasn't surprised at all. And I love that because he always stands by his his favorite female singer is Brandy. He's always said that. It's Brandy, yeah. 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 Does not change yeah. it ever. Yes. yes. Never. It's it's been consistent. It's been consistent mm-hmm. for a while. She's a favorite of his for sure. Sam Cook as well. Sam oh, Cook yes. as well. Yep. Yeah. He's got from Joyce. Joyce loves Sam Cook and probably grew up on hearing her hearing him. Yes. Mm-hmm. My mom my mom as well. That's how I became a fan of Sam Cook. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, okay. wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yeah, artists, one of your sure. favorite parts of the of the interview. Um, what was my favorite part? I think that was my favorite part. To be honest, guys, okay. that part where he listed his top five. Right. Um, favorite. I think that was my favorite part, as well as the part where he mentioned about love. And his children, you know, um, <laughs> basically teaching him the different levels of love and how to pour it. Yeah, I, I thought that was that was amazing. Yeah, that was a good because like like I think that was T that mentioned it about the media not posting those types of things. Right. Yeah. You know, they don't they don't say those things about how he's a good father. He's a good um, son. He's a good uncle, whatever the case may be. They don't run with those stories, but yeah. they run with all the negativity, you know. And whether they're true or not, uh, whether you right, exactly, right. whether they're true or not. And for me, I think the part where he explained it in its own words, how mm-hmm. what love meant to him, I, I, I felt that I really appreciated that. Yeah, I needed mm-hmm. to see that as well. Yeah. Hey, Jay Pride, what did you? What was your favorite part? Uh, for me, I'm gonna just uh pick it back on like him being accessible. Um, I like how when he was saying like it doesn't matter like if he's drunk or like whatever he got going on, if he has, <laughs> he's gonna post a picture with with a fan. I just feel like you right. know, um, <clears throat> that's what like people don't see or the media mm-hmm. doesn't show that side of him of how uh uh. Uh, how accessible he is, how much humility, right. he is, you know. So it's right. um, it's you a, not a fan, you his family, right? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> legit what he sees. That's legit what he sees, like he sees family. So like even like videos mm-hmm. and like you be performing, he'll just go out and like hug audience members, and you know, you don't you don't see that a lot with artists, you know. So um, that's probably one of my favorite parts and. The other one when he was describing how he made uh, the Fame album. Oh was, yeah. yeah, when he was describing how low he was and how down he was in the studio all all day and night. Um, so right. yeah, those would probably be my yeah. yeah, yeah, favorite. Yeah, his favorite. His favorite. Yeah. But one of the one of my favorite parts though was when um, he tells the story when you have to tell the story without saying a name. <laughs> I was oh, like, somebody yeah. bring that up. So I was gonna bring that up. It took me like a <laughs> second to figure out who he meant. When he said, when he did the face with the grimace face, I'm like, oh, we know who that is. <laughs> uh, when he said it was like the waiting room to hell. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found out from YouTube who it was. I didn't know. I didn't figure oh. it out. Oh my god! It was the like, way the internet out. pulled receipts. Yeah, the yeah, internet yeah. pulled the receipts real quick. Yeah. That's, That's how, how I found, found out it. as well. The T- yeah. TMZ, covered it. TMZ covered it. I remember that. I didn't know he was with Chris. But I yeah, did. TMZ I covers it. everything. TMZ is just yes. first on the scene for everything. Like breaking news with TMZ always. <laughs> so yeah. cringy and embarrassing. I know. Why it, would you yeah. stop a party and do that? What is wrong when with you? You think you are the main character. When you think that everything... 
revolves around you, you do things like that. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like what's he just standing there thinking all these people thinking this about me. Right. Yeah. right. Let me go clear right. it up right now. <laughs> like, boy, it's like, it's like looking at you. <laughs> Um, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 The main, like Chris is there. Like I'm thinking about you. Like, Go in there and make it. Right. Out I know I wouldn't have. <laughs> I would not have been thinking about him Mm-mm. at all. No. And, then, and then your body standing up there looking at him like, what the heck? What's yeah. going on? Because <laughs> I remember the song out was, uh, it goes down on the DM. That was the song that was out. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he's, no. and then he just, like, he's just standing there looking at him like, what? Oh, God. Oh. Uh, and when he said, you stop letting him do this. You stop letting him do this. Shut it up. Shut it up. Shut it up. Shut it up. Shut Now, my guess is that he's talking, some people think it was um, um, Justin LaVoy, but no. Justin, is Justin, is that, what's that? Yeah, Justin LaVoy. Yeah, Justin LaVoy. But I think it was, I think it was Boo. Because Boo was his manager at the time. Right. Because I I can't see Justin being high enough up to be in in, in Ye's circle like that. I think it was was Boo. (laughs) And Boo is close. So, Mm -hmm. what a mess. What a mess. Sounds like he was being a bit conceited. Like, is, is this supposed to be about me? Like, what is going on yeah. here? Like, yeah. what? He really thinks he's like a god, but I think it wasn't needs, on him. I think he needs better medication. Honestly, I, I really do. I think he needs better medication. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah. Any medication. Oh. I, yeah. Or, or make <laughs> so take it. Performance. Very manic. Very manic. Um, um, down in the DM, what's the, what's the name? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, said, that's what you was just saying. Yo Gotti, yeah. Gotti down in the DM. Yo Gotti, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just I just can poop in his face with his bottom lip like hanging like what? Oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh good. That's a mess. That is a mess. And I don't blame Chris for, Chris for dipping out, but that Me was neither. one of the okay. best interviews. It's, it's always good when he's with people that he is close to or, or comfortable with. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. Other- I miss him doing uh, Big Boy because the Big Boy interviews are hilarious. Oh my god! Right? Yeah. Yes, I love yeah. the one, Big Boy interviews. He did. He did one for the Breezy album. For correct? Breezy, yeah. yeah, I didn't like yeah. that one. He did. He did. Oh, you need to watch that one. It was hilarious. You got to. Oh watch. no, I remember. Yeah, it. It was I, oh, I remember it. Yeah. I would never. Miss I, it, uh, yeah, I love I love the big boy um, interviews. It's like he's he's relaxed, he's comfortable, he's yeah. laughing, he's joking. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love those. Well, y'all, I'm really grateful y'all came tonight. That was wonderful. I hope you can do it again. Honestly, anytime you want, yeah. you have the you have the link, and you, it will do it. I'll be doing it so far. We're doing it Monday nights at nine. Um, if we change, you know, we will let you know. But um, anytime, you're always welcome. Always welcome to come and share your opinion. Thank you. What you're doing is the opinion. Yep. Yep. Thank yeah. you. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so okay. much for having us. Okay, Nikki. Absolutely. Sure. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank I'm you sorry, for don't talk us. too much. <laughs> okay. Now, right. say something before you sign out. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, make sure. All right. So everybody here, make sure y'all join Station Hair, our streaming parties. We live. Uh, we stream for yeah. uh, <laughs> my head is J Fry 25, J P R Y D E 25. Come out there and hang out with us on uh, stage head. And what time? Like, do you do it on Friday nights at what time? So, uh, I do the podcast on Friday nights, uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, and then uh, mm-hmm. uh, other people who stream during the week. So, we got Miss Cat here, she got a stream going tomorrow. At 4.30 p.m. Eastern okay. Time. So, uh, it's going to be a, a celebrating another celebratory day of uh, Breezy's birthday. So, part two. Yeah. 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 Cool. Right. Yeah, we we, we keeping the party going. We keeping the party going. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We keep the party going. So, if you guys. Absolutely. Can, I would love it if all y'all stop by tomorrow. Uh, and yes. We can just celebrate Breezy. Yes, thank you for that lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yes, y'all come join us. We'd love to have you guys. Yes, there. come join. Well, guys, I'm so I'm so happy that I was able to um, catch a, 
a live chat with you guys. Oh, I'm very excited to be here. I hope you guys can join us on Friday for the podcast. We'd love to have you on. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll catch you next week. Have a great week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining us on this episode, and we hope you'll join us again at The Vanguard.